Admiral's Log, November 22nd, 1937. It's been a few relatively calm months. In these past few months, there have been some minor skirmishes between our cruisers and the German cruisers. These fights have made it painfully obvious that our ships are well armed, but not quick. The German cruisers were maintaining a comfortable range to our cruisers. I decided that we need a solution for this. A fast heavy cruiser capable of catching these fast ships. Designs were quickly drawn up and it's turned into a very unconventional and quite literally forward thinking ship. Main armaments only on the bow. Heavy armor protecting the bow and superstructure and relatively light armaments and armor everywhere else. These cruisers are to chase the enemy and attack them head on. The ships are not to operate alone, however, as they are not sufficiently armed to engage larger threats. I plan to build a handful of these cruisers and attach them to every major task force as a scout and a hunter. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 12. United States 1930s, Germany round 2 seems to be going quite well. The Germans have asked us to sign a peace treaty. I agree, I don't really want to prolong this war unless I absolutely have to. So yes, I would agree to the war, the real question is will the Germans actually go to peace? I'm on 17,000 victory points versus their 594. This is not the war I'm worried about. This one is. Because um, I have managed to pull my battle group or whatever's left of it back. But there isn't that much left. I sunk, well, I lost another battleship. The only capital ship that we have left is the Saratoga. She's the last of the Alaskas. I am reinforcing this group. So I'm bringing a couple more Alaskas into service. But these things take a long time to build. And, well, I hope to have this battle group at least out of this battle area before those new come into service. I am also sending reinforcements. This task force with four battleships, including the Delaware, Idaho, the Oklahoma and the Pennsylvania, to try and assist as quickly as possible without running into a whole bunch of mines. Because initially they wanted to take this route right past Northeast Asia. I think Muroran is what they kind of ran into or Yokosuka. They wanted to start doing some mine clearing by sailing into the minefield. Anyway, let's see if the Germans want peace, because I could use uh, another base here, or a bit of a top-up with my budget, since I'm still burning 83 million a month. So let's see what the Germans actually decide. Looks like Germany came through, peace was signed. So, let's see... Oh, and now the Germans and <laughs> the Austro-Hungarians are at war. Oh, that's refreshing. I can get the Marshall Islands. Is that the only thing you're willing to give me? The only province? Fine. It's not great, but I'll take it. Uh, the rest is going to go into money because I don't really care about their ships. Their biggest ships... Oh, they do have battleships. Oh, the Mars! Oh, wow, the memories. It's not going to be my Mars, though. Throwback to the Big Guns campaign. They have a lot of ships. Okay, I will propose this. Um, they have to pay a province. Very good. The blockade of China by the United States has ceased. And I'm blockading it again. Cool. So I have 143,000 tons. But they're not projecting that much power with it. They're accusing my country of war crimes. I can either pay 223 million or I can say stuff it. Of course I'm going to say that. Um, let's... Yeah. I don't want to blend these groups, so you're going to go in... And you are going to try and leave this theater. Hopefully that'll work. It remains to be seen though. Because there are still Japanese ships about. They got three destroyers here. We got two heavies and a DD there. Please tell me they're also fighting the Russians. I mean the Russians are fighting essentially everybody. But not the Japanese. Oh lovely. Okay so the Russians are... I was at war with the Russians. Huh. Okay, that... I don't know when that ended. Anyway, um, the Russians are at war with Austria-Hungary 
and with Spain. Because of course they are. They just don't have any ships. They have 42 ships, 4 battleships, 12 battle, sorry, 2 battle cruisers, 12 CA, 16 AM. Yeah. It's not terribly special. Uh, Spain doesn't have much either. They only got 15. They're building 18 additional ships though. So yeah, they're definitely working on it. I got a bit of a reinforcement to my budget and I'm still at war with the Japanese. I'm also still bleeding a lot of money. Can I just send some of my ships that I don't actually use to the scrapyard? The legend? What? I don't recall this ship. The legend and the Georgia. There are two additional Alaskas. I don't recall those at all. Hmm. I'm also building the Puerto Rico, the Lexington, and the Ohio, the Philadelphia, the Chippewa, and a bunch of cruisers. Yeah, I'm spending too much on ships. I need to start pulling some ships off duty. Um, this guy, for example, <coughs> Colorado, is costing me 27, oh, sorry, 25 million a month. That's one battleship. If I want to decommission one, I would probably decommission the Idaho. Because it's 15 million and it's, I think, one of the oldest ships I have. Same for the Vermont. Yeah. They're here, aren't they? Here's the Idaho, anyway. All right, let's bring the Idaho back. You're going to go to San Diego, Idaho, for your last journey. And where was the Vermont, exactly? North Sea. Yeah, they must be over here. No, that's the Louisiana. That's the newest Ticonderoga. Yeah. I understand why the Germans surrendered, because a couple of 17-inch guns entered the theater, and they decided that that was probably not, not exactly what they wanted to face. Okay, so this group, um, you're going to go here. You're going to meet up with these. I want the Vermont to be moved to Helgoland. Only the Vermont. You're going to get scrapped over there. Anything in Helgoland at the moment? Yeah, this is where we re uh, we're fixing up all these ships. Right. Well, that's going to be the last resting place. I will keep the Colorado over there. But I'll probably pull the rest of the ships all the way around to go and have a chat with either the Chinese or the Japanese. Whichever happens to come up first. Well, this is fun. Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Idaho, and Delaware all got struck by mines. Yes, that is the task force that is currently over here. So now I have a battleship with 64% damage, which means I can essentially just pull the whole battle group back because everybody ran into a mine and everybody is now fucked. Um, the real question is, where can I find the Marshall Islands? Because I did get them. According to the treaty, anyway. I would love to take the Bismarck Archipelago, by the way, but I didn't get enough victory points for that. Are they modeled here? Yes. Okay, so I now have these. Majuro and Kwajalein. That's definitely a lot closer than San Diego. So, um, that's where we're going to go. It's not an ideal port, but it's... A step in the right direction. Of course, ideally, I would have gotten Saipan and Agana, but uh, I don't know, somehow the Spanish weaseled out of the deal. You guys finally made it to safety. So let's get you also back to the ports here. You're going to go to the Majuro port. I'm going to be way over port capacity. So be it. It's not ideal, but that's what we have. Let's scrap the Vermont. She's going to cost me 20 million a month, no longer. And the Colorado is going to stay. Where was the other guy? On the way back, right? On the way back. With the Idaho so badly damaged, I am considering scrapping her as well. Because it, she's costing me 21 million a month. If she's going to come back into that port, she's going to get scrapped. It's unfortunate, but the Idahos are definitely superseded by the new ships. And this is before the Texans even enter the arena, which will still take me 20 months, but I can do without a couple of battleships. It's fine.
few months later, the Germans are at it again. They really, really, really don't like having my fleet in the North Sea. I don't understand why. I mean, I have taken their province. Um, if they want to fight me again, that's fine. Let's do it again. The only concern that I have is that either of these fleets, or both, could start running into their minefields. Uh, neither of those are things that I really appreciate, but it is entirely possible that that is what will happen. Belknap is going to get scrapped in Helgoland, the rest of the fleet is going to link up. We're going to make this one massive battle group, and of course whether or not we'll actually fight anything? I don't know. That remains to be seen. As for the east, I have pulled away the fleet that I had over there, so the Chinese economy has become stabilized. I'm no longer blockading them, and because the Japanese had sent out yet another couple of ships after my already badly damaged task force, we're now down to one battlecruiser, four heavies, and three DDs. This used to have several more battlecruisers, several more heavies, lights, and battleships, even. Sadly, no more. What else do I have in Helgoland that has been repaired? The Colorado. Uh, yes, let's send you out there. You're going to go there. Colorado, Charleston, North Cal, Toledo, John Hancock, and John R. Craig. Okay. We have plenty of ships. Um, they... Do they have plenty of ships or no? What do the Germans have? 105 ships. Sweet Jesus, that's a lot of... Well, I was going to say trash, but smaller ships. They don't have a lot of capitals. they got a lot of small stuff. Okay, <clears throat> so be it. Um, let's see if I can do something about that. Let's see if we can take out the trash. To make matters worse, the Russians have sent us an ultimatum to withdraw a fleet that's operating near their borders. That's nonsense. I don't even have a fleet operating near their borders. The only fleet that's near their borders is the one that is currently... Yeah, right. That is, <laughs> that is currently um, in the North Sea. That is absolutely nowhere near their borders. Anyway, Belknap, Idaho, she was supposed to get scrapped, is going to take on the Braunschweig class König. She's packing eight 16 inchers. I'm packing nine 16 inchers. She gets assistance from a couple of destroyers. This should be an interesting fight. They have a regular trained crew, fairly decent speed, 33 knots. I have veterans with a slightly slower ship, but a player for a captain. That can make a lot of difference in these battles. That can make a lot of difference. The only deal is... I might not be able to spot them before they spot me. They have destroyers for spotting. I do not. Well, okay, never mind. That fixes that. So show me, what is this? The classic German battleship. ABXY, or ABCD, I believe as the Germans put it. Secondaries all over the place, and it has spotted me, but it is somehow not in range? How does that work? No, it is in range. Okay, then I don't understand. I'm already at 9.5% accuracy. And the next salvo might very well actually inflict some damage. Let's go. Hold on. Please tell me we're actually shooting the battleship, not the D. Ugh. Don't shoot the DD, idiot. It's the battleship that you want. 20% chance to hit. What is that? Did I hit something? What the fuck is that? This is supposedly a ship, but one, two, three. They only have three ships. What is this? There are ghost ships in this game now. Wow. Okay, I did take a hit to the main guns, no less, on Belknap. That's bad news. Come on, dude. Make sure that next volley lands. 
Because I need this thing disabled. Miss, miss. Hit! Partial. Um, I don't know much about this ship yet. Aft deck partial pen. At this angle... 17... <coughs> Sorry, 17 clicks out. We should be able to pen 25 inches of armor, but... I'm thinking deflection. Um, let's go with HE. Might be able to pen the deck or the superstructure. How are you consistently hitting me? That is not very nice. Hit. Damage main tower, that's good. Do that again, if you will. 30% chance to hit now. They are consistently closing on me. Oh, now he's behind it. Whoopsie! Sorry, didn't mean to hit you. That was 21,000 damage against the DD that got in the way. Well, that solves that. No further smokescreen for the battleship. Unless this guy gets into range. Nice. Perfectly executed strike. Exactly the target I wanted to kill. Not exactly, but, uh, you know. Job got done. Ship got sunk. Whichever way this battle goes, it's kind of going to be a victory for me, because this ship has been nominated for scrapping. And that means, even if it is unable to completely eliminate the German battleship, I will be saving money. Which is a bit ironic, because, well, the ship is going to be gone at the end of the, well, the end of the month anyway. If she makes it to port, great, she's going to get scrapped there. If she doesn't, this is going to be her final battle. Come on. Partial, partial. That thing is heavily armored. That's for sure. Secondaries on the DD. No range. Boom, boom. I'm flooding. That's more like it. Partial pens. Fire. I don't know which way this battle is going to go yet. Yeah, that's... No, that's not a lot of armor. Nine inch main belt? Is that it? Six inch superstructure. What the fuck? So, yeah, at this angle, 3% chance to hit. Or to pen. Their hit chance is 29 ish, minus 42. So, arguably, I should be able to land hits more consistently. That's their chance to pen me, because I am fairly badly angled. Yeah, 65% turn. It's a cute little torpedo you got there. Don't do that again. I'm hoping I can damage their main fire control. But with 6 inches of superstructure armor, and about 12 kilometer range, it's not that likely. Chance to pen? Still 3%. Still, I'm gonna try AP. I want to see what happens. Blocked. Partial pen. Yeah, we're going to have to HE this thing to death. 79% on me, 87 on them. I have a almost 50% damage and stability. This is bad. Flooding! Very good. <clears throat> you can still pen me, probably. 65% chance. What are you shooting? 16 inch, cap fuse ballistic, nose fuse, sorry, nose fuse HE, cap ballistic 1 AP. And we go out cap ballistic, but capped AP shells. So that explains why we're able to set so many fires and do some damage against the ship, but it's not fast enough. We're not dealing enough damage. HE this thing. Uh, standard bulkheads. With a crew like that, they should be able to control the fires. Ow. Jesus. I want to get the 17 inchers into range on this. I want to get that new battleship a chance to show me what it can do. Go on. Chance to pen is going up. AP. No, it's going down again. They're angling away. What sort of citadel you got? Five. So all or nothing. 
And we're down to a terrible chance to pen. Destroyed my funnel. Come on. <clears throat> That's not good enough. We got a 35% chance to hit. They're on 18. Let's keep lobbing some shells over then. Maybe we can come back in the second half of the battle. 14% versus 8. Koenig has lost 10% of her crew. I've lost 13. Interesting gunnery duel, this one. Miss, miss, miss? Wow. Let's fix that damage and stability, please. It's going down about 0.1 every second. So, my accuracy should start improving. So is theirs, though. They have a damage and stability of 48. I'm on 44 and declining. It's almost like they're running. Yeah, theirs has been reset back to 50. They got 13%. I got 22. Okay. I don't exactly understand what the Koenig is doing. If they'd just been maintaining their course, they should be able to bring a lot more firepower to bear. But because of the way that they're sailing the ship, they're only using the A and the B turret. So they're kind of making their own situation worse. <clears throat> 18 percent chance to hit for them 30 for me but the pen chance is still awful one percent with a 16 inch gun my engine sorry my damage stability is minus 39 theirs is uh, still minus 50 18 percent chance to hit versus 25. But now I angled too much. Yeah, I kind of used the bow turrets. Turn. 3% chance to pen. I still got plenty of HG left. Come on, turn more. I know you got a damaged rudder, just make it work. Thirteen clicks out still. Boom. There you go. 70% structural versus my 60. I got a 49% chance to land a shot. They got 20. Fire everything. Partial, partial, some fires. 13% crew loss, 13-4. I am catching up to crew loss. So that's something at least. But I'm concerned that they're going to pen me with a couple of really good AP salvos. And I cannot do anything against them. But why is that? Their main belt is not that good. So why is the game saying I have so little chance to pen? Because I do have a fairly good chance to pen. I got 10 kilometers out. That should give me 73 inches of pen with AP against the belt. Which is 9 inch. Their second armor belt is 6 inch. That might be the problem. That might be the thing that's stopping me from doing a lot of damage, but let's see. Let's get some shells in. 99%, so this is gonna hit. Damage to main tower, flooding, full pen, another over pen. We're getting some damage in. My chance to hit is twice what theirs is. <clears throat> but I'm going to take a lot of damage doing this. Oh, here we go. Smash it. Now. Pen, pen, partial pen, fire. Not good enough. I need more than that. Turn. Or we're not going to be able to use A and B. Boom, boom, boom. Partial, partial, fire. We're just not getting through. We're leveling the score, that's for sure. 
but it's not going fast enough. That's more like it. Now they're under 53, and I'm on 56. Definitely coming back in the second half here. And the DD's just back there eating popcorn. It's good. Pen, flooding. Very good. And then with HE now, because at this angle we can definitely not pen them. 0%. <laughs> wow. I think they're disengaging. They got 21% crew lost. 20% chance to hit versus my 50. My damage and stability is back to 50, and so is theirs. Nice, that's a second engine out of commission. <coughs> Fire damage didn't do that much yet. Koenig 44, minus 54. Good. Come on. Yep. Damage to the main guns. We can destroy one of those, that'd be fantastic. Because they do appear to be broadside right now. No, they're limping away. What the fuck? You're eating popcorn inside of your smoke screen and you're not actually doing anything? Okay. Okay, if that's the plan, then no, by all means, stick with it. And let me know how you get on. While I eliminate your battleship. Oh! Popcorn done. 106 wakes up again. Got 150 HE shells, that's probably not enough to finish off the Koenig. So we're going to need something a bit... closer. How fast are you going? 18 knots. I'm doing still 22 out of 23, that's fine. Third engine out. 17-8, holding. Yeah, they're holding on 78. Alright. Secondary should be getting into range of the DD momentarily. The crew loss has definitely been toned down relative to a previous patch. Because these HE hits used to wipe out a lot more crew than it's currently doing. Let's see if that'll pen the deck. Nah, not really. Speed? 17-6. Again, three damaged engines. This is probably Orcs 5. Because with Orcs 5, you just mitigate a lot of the damage to your engines. I don't think it should be this much, though. Come on, Koenig. Destroy the secondary gun. Look at that, though. Damage done, damage taken. We're really fairly even. But my damage numbers are heavily skewed because I hit that destroyer accidentally. And that got me a 20... What was it? 21k hit in one go? It was really swift. Yeah, they're just gonna run away. This is potentially gonna be a bit of a long conflict here. After a bunch more fighting, it's pretty much curtains for the Koenig. Badly, badly listing. Still firing her guns in anger. Still having all of her guns operational. Well, not the secondaries. Some of those have been destroyed, but the main guns are still firing. And they're actually still doing damage, because they're still hitting my ship. Nevertheless, the Belknap, initially at a disadvantage, has been successful at sinking the Koenig. The Koenig is dead. Long live the Koenig. Now to deal with this destroyer, which... I don't know what it's going to do, since it doesn't escort its battleship anymore. <clears throat> it is a gunboat, because it has spent all of its torpedoes. So, right now, just mopping up against the DD. Chance to hit a DD quite low. Especially if we're maneuvering, they're maneuvering, they're inside of a smoke screen, they're going quickly. But, you know, one AP shell might solve the whole issue. <coughs> That's not even in the same zip code. Belknap, do better. 
This guy is actually dealing a fairly healthy amount of damage against the battleship. Come on. Wipe him out. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Now you're slow. Let the five inches do some work. Stern turret, perhaps. Boom. 12,000 damage. Main guns took care of it. Belknap has completed her final journey, completed her final mission, and gained me 6,000 victory points. That's a really nice start with this, oh, I don't know, third or fourth war against the Germans. For some reason, they just keep at it. They just keep coming. And I will dismantle every single German warship if they keep this up. Oh, boy. That's a big one. That's a really big one. That's the the entire German fleet. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of ships, but I do have the Ticonderoga. With her 17-inch guns and... And 28-inch guns. She's regular trained, so she's not as accurate as the ship that you just saw. Escorted by one heavy cruiser, two lights, and three DDs. These are Hatfields. Yes, they're Hatfields. So they do have fairly decent range torpedo launchers. Um, they got Braunschweig. Yeah, same class. Preussen is a Mars class battle cruiser with eight 14 inchers. High speed. Look at that 38.6. Wow. König Wilhelm. Mars, these are all the same class. And then it's a whole bunch of heavy cruisers. Sorry, light cruisers. It's 11.3 on a heavy cruiser. That's a big gun. Okay, light cruisers. Loads and loads of torps. Lovely. If we defeat this group, we're going to be instantly victorious in the whole war. So, that's going to be the battle next time. That's going to be the battle next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the big clash.